<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we are with uh, Nick Landauer, one of the organizers of the Hydrofolk Pro Tour event in Mexico. The owner and designer behind the BU boards and uh, the product of the Peter Link Kites. He's been kiting for as long as I can remember myself. He's been at the top for many, many years now, and I think he can bring a bunch of good insights into our talk today. So, Nika, what's up? How are you? Good, are you? Good. Dude, look, first question I'm going to ask. Um, I know you live in San Diego, yeah. but you have, um, you, you kite for Uruguay. Yes. So, are you from Uruguay or from uh, uh, States? Uh, born and raised in Uruguay, yes. Okay. And I, um, I like to say uh, I want to represent Uruguay and also... A lot of my friends are from U.S., so mm -hmm. I don't feel like taking a spot there mm -hmm. when we can all go if okay. I take a spot in Uruguay. I see. So, okay. I might as well do that. But you live m most of the time in yes, San Diego. Yes, for the past 16 years. Yeah. 16, okay, that's a long time. Yeah. Um, then I will say um, you're the, the host and organizer of the Hydrofall Pro Tour in Mexico, the first event. So tell us more about the event, what's happening. Uh, so the all. event, I, um, Delaney, where the event mm -hmm. beach, the hotel there is, he's, uh, he's one of the organizers. Mm -hmm. I basically, what happened last year, the event wasn't going to happen. So I stepped in and said, whoa, whoa, look at this, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love La Ventana, everybody does. I mean, mm -hmm. um, so, so I said, you know, let, let's call a couple of friends and say, hey, will you give me a hand? Let's put it together. I mean, mm -hmm. we, can't, we can't let it go. So we did it. It was a success. 65 people on the line. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't expecting it to be that big, to be mm -hmm. honest. I was coming a little unprepared. I was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. um, this year, it was, it's, you know, 60% uh, of that. So, uh, which I kind of like it. It's like more lucky, you know, not a lot of people. Okay. A lot of girls this year, which is awesome. Yeah, because I think Olympic yeah. Games now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know how many girls we have total registered for this I event? I think I have nine or ten. <laughs> okay. Which is, you know, usually we got two, think, three. Yeah, I think this is the biggest we had so far. And this is just the first big event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this year, is, we, we're going to have a lot of that, mm -hmm. um, which is great. Last day of the event, we were thinking about giving them their own fleet. Okay, you know, so, okay, yeah. So they can get you actually go and raise this on against their own each other. level against others. Okay. Would be kinda that, cool. that would be definitely interesting to watch it. Yeah. And see it's gonna go. And Leventown I think it's like it's such a good place. I yeah. think I didn't know that it was it was about to be cancelled last year. Because you kind of expect this to be every year here. Because it's such a nice place again yeah. to send yes, especially yeah. for the beginning of the season to kick off. Yeah everybody coming from the winter in the Europe or North North America is mm -hmm. snowing still so it's mm -hmm. like hey yeah. you know what let me get out of the snow. Yeah. Although the snow has been so good this year maybe a lot of people say oh, let's go to the Oh actually, yeah I guess. Um, yeah because we've been snow snowing kiting, a lot. Right? So yeah. A lot of people snow kiting uh, which is great. Are you going to race yourself this year? You? Uh, yes I'm trying to uh, as long as all the mechanics, you know, work in out place. and everybody's in place and we, uh, we can make it happening. Mm -hmm. uh, I will. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, go racing and, and you know, okay. jeopardize the yeah. event. So, I see. so I'll, okay. I'll wait until the last minute. Okay. If everything is great, put Perfect. it right up. And Perfect. Yeah. And because, yeah, it's, the event is at the beach and then it takes, yeah. li literally, mainly just launch your kite and go and race. Yeah, it was, which is the beauty of kite racing. Yes, exactly. Like, you, you have to set up the boat. Yeah, sometimes I don't understand why people call you up and say, hey, hey, what's the forecast looking? It's like, I know. you need four or five kites yeah. to show up to the beach and put whatever it is. You know, you got 20 minutes before the start. Uh -huh. When it's not going to change that much. So yeah, yeah definitely. Be prepared. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, that's why I like surfing. It's just just so easy. Just to, it's easy to go out and, and kite. Yeah. Uh, you make the boards, um, very famous ones, and you are one of the first. I said the first guy who invented this new concept of the. How do you call the nose one? Uh, we call them the cabin top because it looks Ca like it's yeah, a little the cabin, cabin top nose. Yeah, it's kind of funny. So um, a friend of mine that is a sailor, big time, uh -huh. time sailor, show up to the shop and we had all the boards and. And he's looking and he's like, look at that, it looks like it has a cabin top. Okay. And it's like, and we were laughing, it's like, okay. all right, that's the name. Yeah, right, nice, I like it. And I, I, I've seen that many manufacturers started to copy this. Yeah. And um, as, as you as a pioneer of this design, what was your idea behind it and how do you feel it changes um, the game in the board? Uh, I, 
I, I basically what I was trying to do is uh, somebody once tell me, actually, uh, actually a guy from mm -hmm. here in La Ventana, uh, talking about the uh, the old windsurf days. Mm -hmm. He said, "Hey, at one point we couldn't invent anything to go any faster. Mm -hmm. So what we started to do is to reduce drag, mm -hmm. right? And okay. that's how we got that little extra. And you know, windsurfers, you know, it's a fraction of a you know a knot or, mm -hmm. or, or 0.5 of a knot in the race what they need on, on the speed trials uh -huh, and stuff uh -huh. like that and all they were gaining is at re reduction of drag mm -hmm. so that's the idea behind of the bore uh, the reason why it has uh the cabin on the top mm -hmm. is basically to Add a little bit of volume, mm -hmm. so to compensate just, for the re reduction of um, yeah. Bowling so the, the, I grab a bore which mm -hmm. is in the garage, mm -hmm. and um, there was broken, it was like buckle, mm -hmm. and and basically I just turned the table saw on and okay. just off. slide it, and basically that volume that I I got out of the sizes, uh -huh. the side, I added to the top, so it makes it a good okay, you know. A good um, oh, a aerodynamic. Okay, it's of, looking uh, good. And um, and I would try. I like it, and then I just reduced it. And we are in the version. Uh, I would say four. Yeah. Okay. Already. Yeah, I saw the first one in the garage, and the yeah. the current one that looks, um, I would say much better, more smooth, and just rounded overall. Yeah. It looks like more. I said not look presentable, but looks like more. Yeah, it's a, it'll come shape. together. You obviously, you know, prototypes you do it on the shop, and and sometimes. Uh, you want to get out on the water, right? Mm -hmm. and try it. so you don't uh, spend a lot of time the, on on the you know basic aesthetic of the, okay. of the board. But then uh -huh. once you know it works, then you're like, okay, let's okay. do it. Okay, perfect. Where if people would like to get the awards and other them, where should they where should they go? Uh, the best thing is just hit me out on you know Facebook or Instagram. Okay, so it's gonna be Nico's Facebook. Yeah. What's your Facebook? Just tell him. Uh, Nico Landauer. Okay. And, and he's gonna be Nico's Instagram. What's your Instagram? the same Nick Nick yeah. um, should they do you have any specific email for the orders or website no no just hit no. you I'll hit, hit you me up. up tell me what you what you're looking for a lot of what I'm trying to do one now is to have boards already made mm -hmm. so if we don't have orders or you know orders are all going because mm -hmm. they check all this process that you had to mm -hmm. do and basically curing time mm -hmm. so just start another one and just add it to the okay to the line so if even if uh, if we didn't sell it by the time it's done it probably sells okay so 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 sometimes i'm trying to have boards already ready to go mm -hmm. i send you pictures choose one done okay and if Perfect. you want something specific we'll, we'll you make can make a board. custom board for yeah, the rest yeah, okay yeah. i think that's there's a big thing that you can actually just um make the custom board by the client's request Yes, because yes. I think everyone has a different physique type, and not like every board would suit everyone. But then custom one is a big step. Yes, I try not to get direction. too crazy about design mm -hmm. and stuff because it just uh, it requires a lot of steps and painting and mm -hmm. things like that. But at least at least color, you know, okay. and, and yeah, yeah. a few different options. Okay, so maybe so maybe the, the foot drop positions, right? The first drop positions we have one, you know, template that what I've been using really for, for a long time uh -huh. that I really like, but. If you are way, you know looking for something more specific, mm -hmm. for sure, and then you know, we can do it. Okay, perfect. Um, you write for the Peter Lin Peter, kite, Peter Lin kite, uh, kite kites for the last couple of years. Yeah, the last couple of years. So yeah. tell tell us more about them. Uh, um, I basically uh, um, I got in touch with the designer. And where, where are they from? They are based in, in uh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah, and. Uh, so I only talked to a designer, which is kind of cool, you okay, know, not yeah, to with any okay. other marketing and stuff. So that's a, yeah, because it's uh, yeah, I, I wish I could just talk to a designer and be one on one yes. trying to sell you what yes. you like, what you don't like. Yes, yeah, so that's that's kind of you know I'm I'm, I'm enjoying doing it, and, mm -hmm. it's, and it doesn't always pro you know work. And sometimes you get this disappointment that you mm -hmm. you, you design something, and you just look at it on the computer, and you're stoked, and you put it out. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> but uh. It's, it's just, you know, that's because you're trying something different mm -hmm. and, and you go ahead of the, you know, trying to stay ahead. But, um, and the, 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 the major, uh, I think one of the major uh, uh, problems that most of the manufacturers have is 
manufacturing. Okay. Yeah. They go all they go to China is like a massive production line yeah. and, uh -huh. and they build for everybody. So it's not like you own your own factory, you mm -hmm. know, so uh, which also do and, and okay. that's, that's you know, they're lucky about okay. it. But um, um so I think that's one of the major deals and then getting pro prototypes quicker mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So the bigger the company, the more resources that they have. Um, are they planning to register the kites whenever the, um, the new registra registration cycle yes. opens up? Yes, for sure. So we're working hard uh, to get kites all lined up this year and, and then mm -hmm. so next year register. And I and I, what I think about the kites is that I actually think they, they're pretty good compared to Sonic um, Race, BMGs or Zones because you line up really, really good with everyone and also the also new F1 so I'm really excited to just to have yeah, them I registered have, See, I have a lot of... I have some prototypes and kites are... Uh, I'm really stoked with them, you know I have kites from last year event mm -hmm. that I was using yesterday Kite's amazing I see It's still amazing from right. last year and right. I haven't even tuned it I mean, since last year. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I just put it up, and the thing goes. Yeah. And so that's that's kind of what we want. Mm -hmm. You want yeah. something that every time you put it up, it works right. It works. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then you know, the more you go to two line kites, and and the more mm -hmm. you go into to, um, you know, high performance, mm -hmm. the more maintenance maintenance that they have. Okay. So yeah. So. I mean, yesterday I was, you know, going out against all the guys, and I was like, just as fun. I was just fine. Yeah, I was okay. like, hey, this is, you know, it's easy. But uh, yeah, it's, I mean, you know, it's just, you know, not easy. Yeah. But uh, but I well, wasn't, I'm I wasn't feeling like I had a, a, a le less, you know, kite okay. than they. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I was like, actually, the opposite. I felt like I had a kite that has they outperformed the other ones. Okay. So uh, and it's, it doesn't have all the two liners. It's, you know, yeah. it's just a more specific. Yeah. Kind of, which it gives you uh, a better okay. uh, uh, responsibility, mm -hmm. you know, you, less maintenance, basically. Yes, I, I understand it. Basically, you get the good kite and it's it just good. That's it. It's just good and stays that way for yeah. a while. Yeah, I can't wait to try them when, they, when they're going to get registered. Yeah. The new, I have a new segment okay. on the podcast, and it's just like I use it to, to make a, the, the, the show a bit more fun. It's yeah. called Blitz Questions. Okay. Quick question. I ask you a question, you answer them. They they're not really specific. They're just like the funny questions. Okay. So nothing serious. And uh, let's start with the first one. Um, what's your favorite drinking game to play? I don't have one. Okay, you don't drink, right? I do drink. Uh, <laughs> I just don't play games when I drink. I can just I like to sit in the bar and have a drink. Okay. What's wrong with that? Okay. Um, tell me three things you remember from a kindergarten. Uh, not want to go. Um, the uh, uh, yeah, the bus ride was pretty long. Okay. Uh, and I was stoked about December when uh, you know okay. school's over. Uh, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> if you if what's the sound of love? The sound of love. Yeah, you can you can you can actually make sound of love if you want to. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can just skip the question. <laughs> no, I just did. I just did it. Uh, was that, yeah, was that? <laughs> did I miss it? Okay, I was. I was sorry. Um, um, how do you make a tuna sandwich? How do I make a tuna sandwich? Yeah. Uh, with mayonnaise, tomato, and hard boiled eggs. Okay, and tuna. Obviously. Do you, do you, do you cut the the hard part of the the crust? Of the sand, of the yeah, bread? Of bread? No. No, you keep it. Okay. Who's your favorite doctor? Uh, and why? My doctor. My doctor. Yeah. And why? Why? Because the only one I have. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you like this thing in the bath, in the shower? When you take a shower, to sing? Uh, uh, if you like. To, do you like, like to, to do you like to sing in the shower? Oh, take a bath? No, yeah. I'm not into it. Why oh, you not singing? No. Damn. My next question was like, can you sing it? Okay. Uh. <clears throat> if if you're on an island and could only bring three things with you, what would it be? What would it be? Um, a kite, a boar, and a girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, that's amazing. I guess that's all you need, bro. I can figure out the harness. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you can get if you can get rid of any state, which one would it be and why? If I can get rid of any state in the U.S. In the U.S. Yeah. Which one? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Washington, I mean Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Why? Full of politicians. Okay, I see. Uh, I'm not into politics, so. Yeah. Okay. Can you name three consecutive days without using the words Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday? <laughs> Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Yeah. Any advice for your previous boss? For my previous boss? Yeah. Uh, be honest. Be honest. Okay. Do you like pineapple and pizza? No, really. No, really. Okay. Um, and what's your favorite day of the week? Uh, my favorite day of the week. Uh, I would say Monday. Monday, right? Get, I, this, I get, hate, it, get it done. Do I hate Mondays? I know. But you know, <laughs> if you look at it the other way around, yeah, you know, your do, week already starts better. Yeah, but I go to school. So for me, Monday is not the best day. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, look, this is the final question, and um, this one is really important. Like, I, it's, it's like a serious question, so. I'd really appreciate it if you pay a take close attention to it, okay? What do you think cats dream about? I think they dream about food mm -hmm. and uh, bossing their owners. Yeah, I do. That's true, bro. Right? 100%, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> nice. Dude, that, that was a chronic uh, blitz questions. Do you like them? Yeah. Okay. Quite funny, right? Yeah. Okay. And, uh,. We, we got some time, so what's your what's your favorite places to kite? Recently been, let's say, on the foil especially. Um, well, I love here, Love in Town, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, everybody comes here and they, they want all these windy conditions and everything. I actually uh, enjoy, you know, you know, lighter winds here because the water gets a lot more calm. It gets yeah, clear, uh -huh. clear, so you can, you know, you can kite, uh, you know, you can see the bottom mm -hmm. and um, you can go everywhere. There's a lot less people in the water. It's just beautiful, pristine conditions. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what I like. Um, and uh, other places that I like, well, I mean, anywhere that is, you know, just clear windy. water and, okay. and borshirts, right? But, uh, yeah, 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 definitely. You know, there's a lot of places in the Caribbean. Uh -huh. um, I went once to San Andreas Islands where uh, Ricky lives. Okay. And he has this pool, you know, inside the reef. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I, water, I've, flat water. I've, I've seen, I've seen the drone oh, and, and the drone footage. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, that place is insane. It's just hard to, you have to land somewhere else and go through the reef. Mm -hmm. And then you get there. But, uh, okay. But it's just insane. Okay. Yeah. So that's 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 one okay. of the places. Are you, are, you, do you, are you planning to do um, international events this summer and the fall? So so I'm gonna do the the worlds, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the Panam Games. Panam Games. They're, they're this year's. Yes. Um, so so probably after after the Panam Games I'll decide whether I keep um, racing or retire. What about the the World Beach Games in October? Uh, if I qualify, yeah, sure. Okay, I think you will. You should be. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. If I qualify, I do it because it's a, they're at home. Okay. But for and sure. You said that you maybe be thinking of retiring. Retiring. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because, um, you know, it's just uh, too many years. You know, uh, you travel okay. and, and then the time and you know have a company in San Diego and okay. in in. Just okay. you know, had a house here and but, probably buying so a house you, in San Diego. Okay. Just, it requires so much time and yeah. effort. And, but do you, you know, maybe still like um, recreational competing sometimes? Of course, like, of like, course. Like, like this of event? Course. So like, like you know, in California. Of oh, yeah. course, you know, drive yeah. up to Long Beach. And have, oh, yeah, so not, not, not that just that serious anymore. Yes, you, just, just, you know, have fun designing, helping design the kites okay. and, and just you know, competing once in a while. Uh -huh. No, like. Pushing, pushing, push, pushing, 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 yeah. Okay. It's just, it just takes so much time. I understand, yeah, because yeah, it's pretty much like all the guys from top ten. That's what we do, you know. There's no like, side it, life. It's yeah, just yeah. pushing. Everything, you know, if you want to be in the top, you just gotta go kind. Absolutely, day. yeah. That's the key. So. Gee, that was uh, that's actually I'm really excited for you. Uh, and then I, I'm excited for the kites, for the new boards, for the events. Are you planning maybe to host some events in the future? Just keep po uh, hosting uh, them. It's hard hosting. is is a is a pretty hard. Um, it's a pretty hard task, you know. I don't do it for for any, you know, monetary, mm -hmm. you know. Just do it for helping out, okay. you know. You know, you, you basically after many years of racing and competing, mm -hmm. I feel like you had to give something back. 
to okay. the sport. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like what I did. Okay. And um, just host some events and I'm sure I help out and stuff. I just don't want to mm -hmm. be in charge for them. Okay. Uh, but I, I'm sure I help out. Good. Be part of it. Good. Uh, well, Nika, thank you very much for the for the podcast. Yeah, okay. um, all the links for Nika, either either will be here on the screen for the Instagram, Facebook, or uh, also in the link in description. And before we end, Nika, there's a camera. Look at the camera and um, say what you think right now at this moment in time. The most important thing for the viewers to know. It's gonna be like wishing happy birthday, um, or saying an inspirational thought. Just what you think is important. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all the people that is helping me out and and came from all over the place to to help us to help us to run this event. I'm very grateful for them uh, because uh, without them we couldn't have have an event. So I think that's it. All I can say right now. Yeah, it's great. And definitely come by next year. It's going to be yeah. an amazing event. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's like the, 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 the Hydro Volver Tour in Mexico is, you know, it's, it's, I would say it's an iconic event that happens every year. And it's the first big event of the season where every, the best riders come here to, to check out what everyone's been doing for the winter time and see. And, and the new, the new, the new uh, equipment, equipment comes here. And then everyone finds out what's the direction going to be. Basically, basically the Hydro Volver Tour in Mexico. Set, sets up the direction for the for the rest of the year. Yep. And guys, we we're doing the episodes weekly, so next Wednesday is going to be another amazing episode. Thank you, Nico, for this uh, time. Thank you. And see you next Wednesday. Bye.